What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my channel where I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a practical level so that you can use them and apply them with your awareness in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results with it. Um, so first thing that I wanna make clear is who I am. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz and I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in Kabbalah and I am studied when it comes to the tarot and I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in regards to astrology. Okay, the reason why I'm creating this context in the very beginning of the video is so that you know who you're getting this information from because that should be the first thing that you want to figure out. Um, basically trying to communicate that I am not just someone who is giving you regurgitated knowledge that I have. I'm not someone who's making any of this up. I'm not someone who is, um, once again, just like reading a bunch of books and then spitting out the knowledge that I read from somebody else. I am speaking on things that I've actually personally experienced and everything that is coming out of my mouth is something that I have direct resonance with because of application and experience. Um, so that's why I like to start my videos with making that clear. Um, so yeah, so what, what is the topic of today's video? So the topic is going to be in regards to what to expect on the path or on the journey of achieving source. Okay, so essentially, what should you expect when you start to make the intention or you start to make the decision that you want to start taking your evolutionary journey seriously and that you really want to reach your highest potential, whatever that may mean. Okay, because a lot of people get into, I want to reach my highest potential and I want to do what's right for me and reach, once again, reach my highest potential. And a lot of people say that and they intend that but they actually don't know what it means and they don't actually don't know what that what they actually don't know what comes with that. So that is exactly what I want to explain in this video so that I can give some clarity on the subject matter so that you know what you're getting yourself into and so that you can be aware for the energetic shifts and the changes that will start to come into your uh, your life, your real life uh, when you make that decision to start really improving yourself, okay? So without further ado, if you want to know a little bit more about what to expect on the journey of achieving source, uh, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so first thing first, here's the deal, okay? So achieving source, this is what's known as high magic. This is the entire purpose of high magic. And you would know this if you saw my video that is titled um, Low Magic versus High Magic. Okay, low magic is controlling the world around you, completely controlling your reality. And high magic is the striving to achieve source, which equates to achieving your highest levels of power. So with that being said, when you go along the path of wanting to achieve source, the path of high magic, there are things that will change for sure, 100% sure, to make sure that you have all the correct experiences that are brought about in your conscious, subconscious, unconscious, in your real life to make sure that you are on that path to source, okay? Now, some of the things that come out on that journey of trying to achieve source some of those things are chaotic in nature and they're actually programmed and they're meant to try to distract you or try to lead you away from the path. This is just a part of the evolutionary journey. This is natural. It happens. Just like every movie you've ever watched, every movie you've ever watched that has a journey where people are traveling from one location to another and it, the journey is a prominent part of the movie. There's always challengers on that road. There's always challengers that come across their path. There's experiences that try to hinder them, but they have to move through and navigate. This is real life, okay? This is really what happens when you try to achieve source because obviously achieving source means you are going to be somebody if you actually do it, 
which many people don't, if you actually do it the proper way, you actually gain a lot of power and you have a lot of influence over how evolution works here on earth and you can restructure a lot of things to your liking. Um, in this video, I'm not going to talk about the science of how to achieve source. I've already spoke about that in other videos and I will speak about it in future videos as well in more depth. Um, one of the good videos I can recommend for that is the video I have on the source avatar, Kalki. Definitely check that out if that's something you want to uh, look into more in depth. Um, but what I am going to explain are some of the things to expect on your journey to achieving source. Okay, and I'm giving you this information from a Kabbalistic understanding of the initiatory system that underlies spiritual evolution. So I'm going to be explaining it in humanistic ways and humanistic examples and terms. But in my mind, I just want you to know that I'm correlating everything to Kabbalah and I'm going through the spheres, I'm going through the different archetypal paths that your spirit travels through and that your soul moves through. Um, and there's a real deep system behind what this video is um, about, okay, in regards to achieving source. Once again, I'm not going to go into the necessarily full-on in-depth Kabbalah understanding of this path and how, you know, what the certain experiences you're going to be coming across and where they're located in regards to the Kabbalah. But I am going to give you the basic understandings that you need to know going on this journey. And once again, I've gone on the journey. I've crossed the abyss. I've linked with source. I've been through these experiences. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. And I've and I've guided other people to do the same thing, and they've gone through very similar experiences. Okay, very archetypal types of pattern-like experiences. So, one thing that you want to understand is that on your path of achieving source you are going to start to recognize that the second you make that real solid and deep decision that you are actually going to go down this path, that you are actually willing to make sacrifice, that you're actually willing to discipline and focus yourself enough to do what's in your best interest to make sure that you are going down the path that will achieve you, that will eventually take you to your highest potential. When you make that real decision, when that decision actually solidifies for you um, and you mean it, your life will begin to very surely, maybe not instantly, but very surely start to shift. Okay, there will be instant changes that start to integrate into your energetic uh, field, okay? And it's all happening with the intent, okay? The intent you could think of as the invisible connection that has the potential to pull you towards source if you link your intent with source, which is with evolution. Now, if your intent's focused on other things, which it is for most people, some people are intending to you know, have this and have that and have this and this and this and this and a lot of people's intent is focused on chaos and that always takes you lower into chaos because the science of chaos is it degradates, okay? So if you can align your intent with source, which is evolution, then your life changes with that link that you're creating. And the closer you get to source, keeping your intent on evolution, the stronger, slowly but surely, the stronger that link gets strengthened, okay? Making it more so likely that you will actually eventually end up achieving source. But remember, there will be challenges and there will be challengers and there will be chaos entities, whether that manifests in actual people, situations, or spirits that will try to stop that process or try to at least distract you or present certain challenges that if you can't understand or can't eventually overcome or figure out could potentially become a roadblock where you just keep hitting the same mistake, the same mistake. Okay. So once again, taking it back to the beginning, the first thing you'll notice is that your life shifts. Okay. And that shift typically is uncomfortable. Because when you make the decision that you want to start achieving source, what naturally begins to happen is a couple things. One of the things is that immediately the things that are chaotic in your life, 
that don't serve you and are not in your best interest to achieving source, they start to disappear out of your life, okay? They start to literally get forced out of your life. Um, and a lot of those things that are chaotic, you probably didn't know 100% sure. Now, there's going to be some things that you're like, okay, yeah, I needed to let that go. I'm moving forward. But there's also other things that are chaotic in your life that you probably didn't even know were that big of a deal or that chaotic. And once again, when you make this intention to want to achieve source, you will notice that these things start to diminish out of your life. They start to disappear and they start to get removed because of this new intention that you're setting. Um, and a lot of times that can be very uncomfortable for people because it scares them because they were so comfortable or they were so used to these certain things and now they're being, they're being uh, diminished. Now they're disappearing. They're dissolving away from their life experience, which gives the person a sense of disillusion or gives the person a sense of the unknown, which is scary for a lot of people because they were so used to having this sense of self that was like, oh, this is in my life. Oh, this is in my life. Oh, these people are always going to be in my life. Oh, this is all. And then when you start to want to take your journey to that source level to achieve source, you'll notice a lot of those things disappear because it's trying to show you how to find that link in its deeper, in its deepest way through yourself. And all these other things that you may be attached to that gave you a big part of your sense of self start to slowly but surely get removed so that you can only look inwards and so that you have a lot of time to understand what this journey really is about and where you're really about to start heading because there will be challenges that are going to be prominent that you will have to surpass and overcome. Um, and if you have all these other distractions or all these other things that your sense of self is attached to, you're not going to be able to make it through those challenges because you're not going to know who you are and you're not going to be in a state of understanding uh, of full receptivity okay so that is one of the things that you will notice changes there will be things that start to disappear that you once had some sort of energetic attachments to and this is very common this is bound to happen there's not one person this hasn't happened with it happened with me um, so that can fall along the lines of certain substances that you may have used, whether that's smoking, what, whether it's marijuana, nicotine, vaping, whatever, whether that's drinking, whether that's whatever substance, okay, that you can correlate it to. Anything that alters your, your natural state of being. Um, it falls along the lines of certain friend groups, um, certain people that you thought were your closest friends. You will notice how some of them start to disappear and some of them start to fade away. Um, family members, um, jobs, um, maybe certain routines that you have, depending on the routines. If the routines aren't in alignment with your highest potential, then those things will diminish as well. And your life starts to get set up in this way that is presenting a literally a one-way path for you to reach your highest potential. And it's hard to consciously understand it when it's happening, but that's what's going on. It's literally setting your life up the exact way it needs to be so that the perfect experiences manifest so that you can achieve source. And once again, those experiences aren't always easy and they're not, there's challenges. So that's something that happens, okay? And another thing that you want to expect is that you will come across, once again, challenges, okay? There will be points along your journey of trying to achieve source where you will literally come across people that are, you could say, programmed to try and stop you from moving forward. And that can manifest in many different ways, but it's going to be subtle a lot of the times, but it's also going to be very prominent. You're going to know when someone's challenging you. Um, and the goal to move forward is to remain in alignment with your evolution. Okay, that's it's that simple. As long as you're focused on your evolution, and that's your primary focus, then whatever comes to try and stop you or tries to challenge you, yes, it may, um, it may produce an experience that's uncomfortable or it may produce an experience that's like, you know, why is this happening? I don't like it. You know, 
you know, what am I going to do about it? Like, what, what, what should I do to handle the situation? It's going to produce all these thoughts within you when you have a challenger up here. Um, and simply the way you handle it is by focusing on your evolution. Now, you know, in my journey, I handled my challengers, meaning I became aware of them. And I knew in my, in my intention, I knew I didn't like what they were doing. So I focused my awareness on them. And in my mind, I was saying, I'm aware of what you're doing right now. And I'm very aware that you're doing this out of chaos. So if you continue to do this, you are going to pay the price and you're going to, you're going to face consequences because deep within me, I knew that I was on a path of achieving source. And ultimately that means that I'm on a path of power of cosmic law. So if someone's chaotic in nature and trying to stop me, who's trying to achieve source, then cosmic law can work to my benefit. So I would just have that simple awareness and the awareness is what did it for me. And, uh, you know, I would focus in on the people that I knew were challengers and I didn't forgive them. I didn't turn my cheek to them and I didn't love them. That's for sure. But I was aware that they became enemies in my mind. That was the context that I created. And I had focus on them to make sure that they didn't, to, it, to make sure that I was not ignorant to the actions that they were presenting to me. It's not that I necessarily had to go up to them and confront them physically all that, you know, or whatever. It's not that I had to prove myself that, hey, I know what you're doing and all this stuff. I didn't have to do that. All I needed was the simple awareness of what was going on and to keep my awareness on the chaotic aspects that they were presenting while I was trying to achieve source. And that always would handle it. Now, obviously I'm also a black magician, so there's other ways that I would handle my enemies as well, but that's not what this video is about. Um, so that is another thing that you will experience on the path of achieving source. Okay. There are some requirements that you need to make to yourself to achieve source. Okay. And one of those main, uh, requirements is being impeccable. Now I've, I've mentioned this in other videos before I have a whole video on the principle of being impeccable. Um, and I learned this from a book by Carlos Casaneda, which explains what being impeccable is. And it's in the book, the fire from within. Um, and then there's another one called the power of silence, which explains being impeccable and what exactly it means. Um, now before I had read and understood what being impeccable was from this book series, I was already applying that in my life while I was going through my initiatory experience. So this was a part of my energy field. And when it comes to the series by Carlos Castaneda, the series of Carlos Castaneda of all the books he wrote, they're from real sorcerers from the ancient shamanic traditions. So these are sorcery shamanic principles that are being applied by the, the world's highest level sorcerers and shamans. And once again, I was naturally doing that. So that shows that this is a very prominent principle that does influence high level magicians, sorcerers, shamans, wizards, you name it. Um, so being impeccable means you're using your energy in its most wise form, or in other words, you're using your energy in its most beneficial way. So being impeccable means you're making decisions that are energetically in your best interest. So whenever you go to do something, whatever that thing may be, you're checking in with your own intuition before, and you're asking yourself, is this going to be in my best interest? Is this going to eventually lead to me gaining more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Or is this going to lead to me losing energy? Okay. Losing energy to, to chaos specifically and not getting it back. So you have to check in with yourself and being impeccable is the ability to always make decisions that are going to lead you in the direction of gaining more energy or using your energy wisely. So for example, to give you a real life example, it's like you have an, an option where you're like, okay, I'm going to go to this cer certain place that I know about, you know, it's in nature and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to silence my mind. I have a plan to do this today. Okay. And the next thing you know, 
shortly after having made this plan, you get notice on your phone, a notification of your friends that are going out to, let's say, a party or a bar or a club or a social gathering, whatever it may be, and they're like, hey, you want to come? Hey, we're going to do this. We're going to drink. We're going to do this. We're going to hang out. We're going to do this, right? So the option out of these two choices to be impeccable would be using or following the decision, the pathway that is going to lead to your highest evolution. And obviously that path in this circumstance would be following through on the plan that you had to go to that place in nature to silence your mind. Because that was gonna teach you maybe something in regards to uh, source, something in regards to cosmic uh, evolution. But then after you had made that decision, a chaotic situation manifests that is prevent that is providing another pathway for you to walk. Now it's not saying that if you make the wrong choice and you end up going to the party that everything's destroyed and everything's over, but all that's going to do is that's going to make it so that you end up putting your energy into something that wasn't as important, which is not being impeccable. And the more not important decisions you make, the more decisions you make that go against being impeccable, the harder it's going to be for you to achieve source. And you can easily lead to yourself getting burnt out. And that is obviously not a good thing. So being impeccable is key. Okay. And it all is coming from your intuition. Your own intuition will always tell you the right choice that you feel. There doesn't need to be logic behind it. You don't need to necessarily be analytical with it. You just need to trust your own spirit, trust your own soul and listen to your intuition. Okay. So yeah, so these are some of the, the main things that will come about when you start to walk down the path of achieving source. So, you know, just make sure you're aware for that. You know, there are going to be challengers. There's a lot of people that like to pretend like it's a journey of bliss and it's a journey of just love and light and all that stuff, but it is a real journey. You know, you're walking through the valley of shadows on this journey. Um, you are traveling through the dark forest, okay? You're traveling through the wilderness at nighttime and you want to know how to navigate and you want to know what to expect. We're talking about the subconscious and the unconscious mind and unpacking what is built up in those, uh, in your being, you know, and that's dark. Those are dark areas of the conscious. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not all love and light. It is not all a walk in the park. It is not... Um, you know, something that you're going to be able to just do quickly. This, this takes a lot of time. There are people that spend years trying to achieve source. Okay. And if you do things right and you do it the proper way, and you use the science that I teach on my channel, you can achieve it in literally about two years time if you're serious about it. Um, but usually it takes somebody around three to four years. And the reality is, is most people that try to achieve source don't do it. The reality is, is most people do not achieve source. Okay. They do not link with source. They do not cross the abyss. Um, rather they get stuck in the abyss because they don't understand what I'm talking about. Um, and they don't understand the science behind the most effective way to achieve source, which I will be breaking down on my Patreon in the near future. Okay. So other than that, this is what I want to share. I think this is going to be valuable information. Um, I'm going to leave it there. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can and definitely hit the subscribe button because I love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. And also definitely make sure you check out my Patreon because on my Patreon, I have exclusive content and uh, some of that content is going to be geared towards actual occult practices that I perform on camera. And then I walk you through on how to perform them after I do it myself. For example, I have a video on how to do an invocation, which is calling down a spirit using specific techniques to then take on that spirit's energy and take on that spirit's power, which is alchemizing it into yourself, which increases your psychic potential increases your psychic senses and your psychic protection because once again, you're taking the, the energy that this external intelligent being has and pulling that into your own energy field, okay? Um, so this is one of the practices that I have uh, on my Patreon. And then the other bit uh, is going to be in regards to Kabbalah. I'm breaking down the literal process of spiritual evolution, the literal system of spiritual evolution in its proper form. 
not the bullshit form, not the inverted pillars, not what these occult orders are teaching you. I'm teaching you the real, raw, authentic version of uh, Kabbalah and what it's really all about. Um, so I break down all the spheres from the Sephiroth to the Clifoth, and I give you the attributions. Um, the symbolism, the spirits associated with them, and my own personal experience having initiated through the sphere myself, which is extremely valuable. Okay, So that's what you'll find on my Patreon. Where you're going to be able to find the link for the Patreon is if you go to the description. It's the first link at the top, so definitely check that out. Um, in order to gain access to the exclusive content, you have to at least be a tier 2 member or up. In order to be a tier 2, it costs $9.95 a month, and that literally will come out to less than a dollar a day. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that, especially with the value that I have on there. As you go up in tiers, the benefits increase as well. I'll let you check that out for yourself. With that being said, I'd love to give a special shout out to all the um, top tier members below. I have their names mentioned below. Um, and then a huge shout out to all my Patreon members in general uh, for taking your knowledge to the next level. And then I would like to give a special shout out to the um, YouTube subscribers. You know, I appreciate all of you. Um, but other than that, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Usually I would promote getting a tarot card reading with me. Definitely check that out. It's in the second link below. The reason why I got to wrap it up is because my, uh, my camera battery is literally about to die. So um, definitely check out the second link below. You can book your own personalized tarot reading from me. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, once again, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to leave it here. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.